When it comes to a meal, it, I don't know, it's sometimes you want more than a meal. You want an experience, and for that, we turn to Dominic, the man behind Match Restaurant. Thanks for having us oh, in. Oh, thank you for coming. How are you? Oh, I, I'm excited. Good. I'm really <laughs> excited to be here. First of all, I want to say uh, congratulations. You've been doing some award winning. Yeah, well, we were in Vegas, and we won uh, three awards back-to-back. Uh, -back. One was for uh, Best Play Presentation, mm -hmm. and the other two were Best New Food Trends. Excellent. Yeah. Now, when we look here, I can see why the Best Food Presentation Award would come your way. Oh, this is really important for you. Yeah, for me. I think visually, um, you eat with your eyes first. So mm -hmm. if it's appealing to your eyes, it really gets your stomach ready for that great meal. And that's what we try to do is uh, appeal to all the senses. Now, the, your, your love of food and how it looks and textures and stuff, that takes you way back to when you were just a little guy. That's right. I, I've been cooking you know, since I was nine probably with my parents in the kitchen. I've always carried that love with me. Uh, awesome. throughout my training, yeah. So, have you, did you ever maybe think not food, maybe art? Because this is art. Oh, no, I, I'm a, I can't <laughs> even draw. I'm the worst, really? <laughs> I'm the worst okay. artist, yeah. But uh, this stuff just comes, uh, I just don't plan it, or it just comes as I'm plating, so. Wow, so where do we even begin here? Because I want to talk about some of these things and, and the way you've okay. displayed them, too. Uh, probably the best thing we can start with is, is, is our breads, and mm -hmm. we, we call it ourselves a scratch restaurant. It means we, we do everything from scratch, right. whether it's our breads, our desserts. Um, we get our whole meats in and, and our fish. So, um, and we bake our own breads. We have some onion bread, some poppy seed bread, and focaccia that we do right. every morning here at the restaurant. And it's a specialty, and, and you can count on fresh. And it looks great. Okay. It looks really good. But it's only the beginning when you come here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, you know, we start off with some antipasto. We have a couple of two-dimensional antipasto with uh, prosciutto on the outside and bruschetta, some olive and orange biscotti, mm -hmm. uh, tomato and bocconcini. Right. And then we just have like a, a little glass vessel that has some olives and a parmigiano, which is a very traditional antipasto. It is, but yeah. it's... Showing it, I love this. This uh, this idea here is great. Oh, I you. love that. Thank you. And you're you seem to be a you must spend a lot of time shopping for dishes. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> Usually I start with the dish, then I, w what food can I put in that dish? Just kind of backwards, yeah. and you think of it. Like this is this is fun. <laughs> so yeah, we put lights underneath it. It's just a plate, and it carries the lights, and That's we put smart. it over. So when it's dark in the restaurant, the the food is is highlighted even more. Wow. Yeah. And the food here is. Um, you're really into fresh, really into quality, really into flavor. Yeah, flavor, and, and we try to support local. Um, mm -hmm. You know, especially That's yeah, especially when the season uh, permits us, we mm -hmm. really support all the local farmers and the butchers and stuff like that. Yeah. And I noticed looking over the foods that we've looked at so far, not heavy on sauce. No, no, we try to um, get the flavor from the actual ingredient mm -hmm. as whether well the accompaniments to it. Yeah. Wow. And I, this, as I mentioned when we first walked up here, this is one of my favorite displays here. I love how this looks. Yeah, and this is like a, this is a, a dual dish here. We have some seared tuna mm -hmm. with Bermuda peppercorns on it. And this is a, our pasta. We, we usually serve pastas in these bowls, especially when you do a chef's tasting. And this is called a bumblebee pasta because it's two-tone. Uh, one oh, side okay. is saffron, one side is squid ink. That's nice. Now, you mentioned uh, before we move on the chef tastings. Could you tell me a bit about that? Because this is a great way to experience a lot of different foods. Yeah, like we, we don't usually uh, advertise it. It's not on the menu, but everybody kind of knows about it. So mm -hmm. they'll call like uh, a day before and say, I'd like a chef's tasting for my uh, reservation. And mm -hmm. what we do is, I don't even know what I'm making that day. I just go into the fridge and, wow. I'll, and I'll give them, yeah, I'll give them like between seven to ten courses. Um, a taste of everything that, uh, you know, starting from the antipasto mm -hmm. all the way to the main course to the dessert. Wow. Now, when you see all these foods here, what, what, uh, where did you get inspiration from? I mean, this looks rather Asian. Yeah. Oh, I trained uh, in Japan okay. for a bit, a beginning of my training, and then I did a lot, uh, some in Scotland, mm -hmm. um, some in Chicago. Um, so a lot of that comes from different chefs that so I work. Bringing with. the best of all the different cultures that's together. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's fun. And uh, lamb chops. Yeah. Yeah. yeah lamb chops. And what else we got here? Oh, we got, uh, this is where we usually serve our soups in these bowls. Well, that's fun. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, usually when you sit down, uh, you just get this here. Yeah. You'll just uh, get to have this on your plate, uh, and then the, the, the server will just drop the soup down. So it's kind of odd that you have this little wood piece in front of you, and then yeah. they drop the soup in. But yeah. it's, it's very visually appealing. Oh. This, I understand, is amazing. This is our lobster. Very, uh, we sell a lot of these. This is very... Uh, a good sell in the restaurant. Uh, it's lobster spring rolls, and we serve it in a tea light holder. I was going to say, no, this teaches you never rule out any kind no, of container. No, any, yeah, anything works. You know, I'm, I usually don't like to use a, a normal plate. It's just anything that I think food will go in, right. and, and I'll put stuff in And you there. got the sauce right in the bottom. Right the that's bottom, what that's I like. Right. <laughs> I like that because you can double dip because it's that's for that's you. That's for, <laughs> for you. And it, sometimes we even put sauces in these little pippets. Oh, brilliant. So they're individual and you just kind of do your own uh, thing there. 
Brilliant. And then uh, we cannot go any further without dessert. Yes. Where, I like that. A chocolate. That's got a, me written yeah, all over <laughs> it. That's a chocolate apple and caramel cheesecake. Um, we just do it like a sphere mm -hmm. instead of your traditional slice. We just kind of right. make a into a mold, into a, a round mold. Wow. And then this one here. I don't this, understand how it works, but it's pretty. This is a winner. <laughs> this was one of the winners in Vegas. Okay. And we call this Flo. All right. And this is uh, three types of mousse. So you have a chocolate, a white chocolate, and a milk chocolate. Ooh. And then this is a caramel tower. And what you do is uh, you have a, a sauce in here, which right. is a caramel sauce. And you would pour it down the levels and it would go into uh, the actual dessert, and then you mix it all up. Can we show it? Oh, I get to go? try you got it? it? Oh my goodness. So you kind of want to aim so right here. I have to aim for about here? Yeah, there okay. you go. Just and pour. Just pour. Ah, where is it? Hey, it's there. There it comes. There it comes. And see, it goes down to levels and into the dessert. Awesome. And you do it all? Yeah, you do it all. Oh, so it spills over. Fun. Nice. What a great, oh, it's going right down the side. Yeah, is that right? <laughs> that's right, that's no problem. There's no wrong to this. Now. Oh, that looks great. Yeah. And now the um, the creativity you have, the flavors you work with, this yeah. is drawing you some attention uh, south of the border. Yeah, um, I did some work with uh, Art Smith, who's mm -hmm. Oprah's uh, personal chef. Uh, I went down there a couple of times mm -hmm. to uh, give him a hand in some uh, functions that he does. Yeah. So we've, we've developed a great relationship with each other. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a great guy. He's did great you guy. learn any of Oprah's secrets, what she likes to eat? No, no. not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just have to wonder. Yeah. And the other thing I wanted to ask you about, which I think is fantastic, is that um, you do a lot of giving back. Right. We, we uh, Every so often we try to pick an organization, we call it Cook It Forward, mm -hmm. and we'll go into a shelter or uh, a ward of a hospital and just go there and cook for the, and sometimes it's not just for the people, it could be for the volunteers sure. who, who don't get anything and we'll just cook an event for them and it has decor and food and sometimes entertainment. And we just go and do this event and then we leave. We don't want anything back from it and we're just kind of giving back because we've nice always though. been lucky, yeah. And it makes yeah. people feel special, special and, exactly. and acknowledged. That's right. That's important. For the good work that they do, yeah. And it must make you feel great. Yeah, it does. It really does. It so really does. Good yeah. for you. Well, you have a ton going on and yeah. I know we're <laughs> going to be seeing a lot more of you. Um, where can people learn more about you? Uh, we have our website and it's uh, matchyyz.com mm -hmm. and we have a, quite a bit of information on there about our menus, our food and some history of the restaurant and myself and my sous chefs. Excellent. Yeah. Well we invite you to learn more about Dominic and come visit Match Restaurant.